make Jesus proud. I want to make Jesus proud. I will stop at nothing. I will let on everything. I want to make Jesus proud. Mm -hmm. I want to make Jesus proud. I will stop at nothing. I will lay down everything. If it will make Jesus proud. Make him proud of me. Make him proud of me. I will lay down everything. If it will make Jesus proud. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everyone, to the China. Before we start, let's quickly have a word of prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you, worship you. We give you all praises. We give you all honor. We give you adoration. You alone is worthy to be praised and adored. We say, accept all praises, all honor, all adoration. Be ascribed to your holy name. Father in heaven, we say thank you. Lord Jesus, we say thank you. Ancients of days, we thank you. The God who sits upon the throne and rules in the affairs of men, we say thank you. Thank you, sweet Jesus. We just want to say, we want to make Jesus proud. We would let on everything if it will make Jesus proud. I'm proud of me. Make him proud of me. I will let on everything if it will make Jesus proud. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We just want to lay down everything if that would make you proud. Help us, Lord, to make you proud. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as we go through your word, as we study your word, Holy Spirit, we call on you. <laughs> Holy Spirit of the Most High God, come and take over. Come and take charge. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I really do appreciate your presence here today. We are looking at a sensitive topic. We are looking at a topic... We as human, we really don't think about that much because we don't see it as uh, our own responsibility. <laughs> but we're going to be looking at it. From the title is just all about the song, Making Jesus Proud. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we feel um, as humans, we have no, we really don't have much when it comes to our salvation. Jesus has done it all. So we don't have much to do when it comes to our salvation. Oh, wow, Jesus has died for me. I'm a child of God. So I really don't have much to do when it comes to say I'm a child of God. So that is what we are going to be looking at today as God's own children. I'll be referring you back to we as parents. We know as we as parents, we love when our children make us proud. So as children of God, all we're looking at is let's make Jesus proud. Let's make him proud of us. Through our thoughts, through our actions, through our thinking, let's make him proud. How is Jesus that is supposed to make us proud? Yes, I know. Let's see what he has to say concerning we making him proud. Let's check into his word in the book of um, Second Thessalonians. That is what we are going to be looking at. Sorry, guys, I'm looking behind a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to be looking at the book of First Thessalonians. I mean to say First Thessalonians chapter 5. Chapter 5. We're going to read verse 16 first. Let's see what it says. Always be joyful. <laughs> yes, always be joyful. It says always be joyful. That is brother poor final advice to the Corinthians people that they should always be joyful. So also does God want us to always be joyful as his children and our joy depends on our desire because when we desire to be happy we're going to be happy but when we desire to put our problem in front of us the problem is going to cloud us and when the problem cloud us we will not be seeing the one that is bigger than the problem we'll be looking at the problem which 
as children of God, God don't want us to look at our problem. That is why he said, we should always be joyful. Hallelujah. He said, never stop praying. Hallelujah. He said, we should always pray. The other verse, we say, pray without ceasing. Yes. He says, never stop praying. As children of God, he said, we should never stop praying. When we pray, what are we praying about? What are we praying about? Are we praying just for ourselves alone? Or we are thinking about people around us and we are praying for them. When we are praying, we have a lot of responsibility. When the Bible says the, 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 the government of this world shall be put upon his shoulder, it's still referring to us as God's own children. The affairs of this world, they are in our hands. God wants us to direct it to him in prayers. And when we do that, things will fall into pleasant places to our own favor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And he says, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's way for you who belongs to Christ Jesus. <laughs> we know when trouble comes, there is always this feeling, is it my sin? Is it my trouble? Is it my disobedience? But the Bible is always telling us here, be thankful. How thankful are we? The more we are thankful to the things of God, the more God is proud of. The more, yes, as Elias said, the more we are thankful to him, the more Jesus is proud of us. Let's make him proud. My brothers and my sisters, let's make Jesus proud. I want to make Jesus proud. Sing it along with me. Say, I want to make Jesus proud. I will stop at nothing. I will lay down everything. If it will make Jesus proud. <laughs> make him proud of you. Mm -hmm. Make him proud of me. Mm -hmm. Lay down everything. Lay down the pride. Lay down the anger. Lay down the unforgiveness. Lay down the bitterness. Lay down the strive. Lay down the competition. Lay down the, 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 the spirit of I'm more superior. I'm better off. I do better off. Lay them down. If that would make Jesus pr proud of us. Mm -hmm. Let's continue with the Bible scriptures. Saturday, Julie always come out with Bible scripture and he explained it just in a natural form. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. The, just like the scripture said, what a privilege for us to come into the presence of God. That is our brother David. Say, how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell in unity. What is he talking about there? He's talking about children of God coming together, talking about the things of God, talking about the word of God, meditating on the word of God. He said that is how our ways will become prosperous in the things of God and in what he, he the way he wants our life to go and pattern to. Hallelujah. May God help us. God will help every one of us. By his grace, we will make him proud. Let's see. He says in the book of um, verse 19, he says, Do not strive the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff as prophet, but taste everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Say, grieve not the Spirit of God. That is how the other Bible verse will say it. The Spirit of God inside of you. How are you grieving it? We grieve the Spirit of God by not listening to God when he's speaking. By not obeying the word of God. By not being still and waiting to hear what he has to say concerning the situations of our life. We are grieving him. We are nailing Jesus back to the cross. May we not lay, nail Jesus back to the cross in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. It says that we should hold fast that which is good. The other Bible verse we say, we should hold fast our perfection. We should hold fast that thing that we have learned as children of God. Even at the first Peter 2, 2 it says, a newborn babe desire the systemic of the word of God that you may grow thereby. Now you've desired it and you've grown in the things of God. Those good things, those wonderful meat you have had, don't, don't spill it off. Even as you begin to have hard meats, you begin to have bones, crack, crack bones, biscuit bones. You begin to crack hard things of life. The, the, your foundation, to throw it off. Remember who you are in Christ. Make him proud. 
The first stage of Christianity is we accepting Jesus. The second stage is we going about making disciples. I always say, why are you on this platform? Why are you on the streets? Are you here just for yourself alone? No matter what you are doing, remember who you are. Make him proud. You don't say this is who I am. Let what you do say who you are. Let your action say who you are. He said, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples. By your actions, by the way you carry yourself, do you have the spirit of milkness? How meek are you? When somebody offends you, how quick are you to forgive? You can't be a child of God when you don't forgive. God wants us to forgive as his own children. He wants us to live in love. Remember the disciple of Jesus. How many times shall I forgive when my, my brother, my sister offends me? And he says, 70 times 70 in a day. Wow. Huh. You got to forgive your brother, your sister, 70 times 70 times 70 in a day? That tells you that you need love. Multitude of love cover it sins. Yes. I'm going to bring the song back again. I want to make Jesus proud. Hmm. Let us make Jesus proud. I will stop at nothing. I will lay down everything. If it will make Jesus proud. Make him proud of me. Make him proud of you. Hallelujah. Yes. Let's lay down everything. The pride of life. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, let's make Jesus proud. Proud of us. Yes. So let's keep on list checking the word of God. What he has to say. What he's saying about our attitude as his children. Those things we need to let go of as his children. I'm not just talking to everyone. I'm also talking to myself. This is a this is an awakening. Amen. He says. But test every that is said. Mm -hmm. So do, it says, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. Mm -hmm. Test things. How do you test things? You test things by studying God's word. When you study God's word, you know God said this is bad. And you see someone that is doing it. The Spirit of God inside of you will quickly just remind you and tell you. This is not God's will. This is not God's plan. And then you're going to say, I'm not going that way. I'm not going that route. I'm sorry, it's getting a little bit darker because of I'm using a natural light. But we bless God and we're still going to finish it up. Or I might get, let's continue. <laughs> so what am I trying to say? He said we should hold fast to that which is good. That good thing, we should hold fast. Hold it fast. Hold it fast. Yes. He says, Stay away from every kind of evil. Mm -hmm. Let's not, um, when it says stay away from every kind of evil, it means we should not just be there and want to prove right, want to prove ourselves, want to prove our, our innocence, want to just prove, no, stay away, stay. The Bible says flee, run as a child of God. Any evil that you feel, does not please God, does not give glory to God. Is it lying? Is it deceit? Is it manipulation? Stay away from me. You don't need to prove anything. Stay away. That is what the scriptures say. May God help every one of us to stay away from evil. To stay away from evil. To stay away from condemnation. To stay away from anything that would drag us down. That would make Jesus not proud of us. So I'm going to sing the song. Yes, just one more time. I want to make Jesus proud. I want to make Jesus proud. I want to make Jesus proud. I will stop at nothing. I will lay down everything. If it will make Jesus proud, make him proud of me. Make him proud of me. I will lay down everything. If it will make 
Jesus proud. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Learn that everything is learn that unforgiveness because we are humans. We are bound to 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 err. People are bound to step on our toes. We have to forgive. When you say, I'll lay down everything. Lay down the unforgiveness. Lay down the rot. Lay down the pride of life. Name it. Lay down, lay down superiority complex. Oh, goodness me. I'm going to lay down everything if that will make Jesus proud. Remember the scripture says, he gave more grace to the humble. Mm -hmm. He resists the proud, the arrogant. May God help us not to be arrogant. May God help us to be humble. The fruit of the Spirit, the Bible says, by their fruit we shall know them. When we have the fruit of the Spirit, Jesus is proud of it. Yes. Let's make him proud of us. Yes. I want to make Jesus proud. Yes. Now we're going to pray. We're quickly going to pray, pray for a few minutes before we start off with this word of God and we'll round it up. We just want to pray that God should help us to make him proud. One thing is to hear the word of God. Another thing is to remember the word of God we have had and let it sink in us. Yeah, he says it's not those that hear the word. He says it's those that are the doer of the word that are blessed. We're going to pray. And we're going to pray that God will help us to be the doer of his word and not just the hearer of his word alone. Our Heavenly Father, we worship you. We thank you for this precious word that has come this day that we should make you proud. Father, we want to make you proud. We really want to make you proud. Help us. Anything that will bring us down or make people to say, you call yourself a child of God, just look, just look at what you're doing. Please God, deliver us from such. Help us to trust you in, in our journey of life. As we journey this world, there are so many things to, that are there to pull us down, continue with our relationship with Him. We just need your grace, Lord, because we want to make you proud. Father, we do want to make you proud. We sincerely want to make you proud. Help us. We need you, Lord. Say, I need you. Lord, I need you. Every hour I need you. Yes. We need you, Lord. We need a grace to make you proud of us. You said, Lord, we should forgive. Give us grace to forgive. Give us grace to love. Say the love over a multitude of sin. Help us to love. Help us to forgive. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. We need your grace, Lord. We need your grace, Lord. Father, help us to make you proud. Yes. Help us to make you proud. Yes, Lord. We really want to make you proud. We want you to be proud, Lord Jesus, of us. We want you, Lord Jesus, to look from heaven and say, This is my beloved child in whom I am well pleased. Give us the grace to save it. Give us the grace to walk with you. Give us the grace to depend on you. Give us the grace. He said, he said when you see it, the word of God came, some fell in stony ground. Some fell. Those who are fell in a stony ground did not germinate. The case of life, the pressure of life choked it. They didn't make you proud. May the pressures of life, the cares of life, not choke your word in us. Help us to make you proud, Lord. Help us, Lord, to make you proud, Lord. Help us, Lord Jesus, to make you proud, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want to make Jesus proud. Hallelujah. So as I said, that... Um, we really need to make Jesus proud. We really need to make him smile. We really need to make him look at us and choose to decorate our crown. Yes. Make him proud of me. So when we begin to sing the song, it will be a reminder who we are and be a reminder of our conduct on earth. May God help us. May the Spirit of God help us that the, 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 the pressures of life will not choke us. The kills of this life will not drag us down. The, the, the troubles of life will not pull us down. We will not doubt. We will not make Jesus cry. When the world looks at us, they will say, of a true, 
he bears in them the mark of our Lord Jesus. Can't you see that? May that be our portion. Thank you, everyone. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate every one of you for turning in. I have one more, one more Bible verse to read. Then we'll talk about the Bible verse and then we're going to call it a day. The Bible verse I was telling you guys about is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15. It says that we should see that we pay not evil for evil. Yes. Rather, we should do good to all men. Yes. If somebody offends us, as I earlier said, we should forgive. Um, how do we do that? Forgive before the offense comes. When we forgive before that offense comes, oh my goodness. <laughs> when we forgive before the offense comes, it will be like um, the sin that Jesus has already paid. He has paid the price for it all. You get it? Jesus Christ has paid the price. So when Jesus paid the price, our sins are being cleansed. Not because we deserve it. So, so we, we need to forgive our brothers and our sisters in advance. Why do we need to do that? So we don't end up becoming a trash can. Yes. When we don't forgive, it's difficult not to live in strife. And when we live in strife, we're not going to be at peace. We should remember the Bible says we should live at peace with all men. What are we looking at? We want to make Jesus proud. Making Jesus proud. Easter just passed. And that reminded of, of the pain Jesus went through. He was scorned. He was humiliated. They lied on him. He was betrayed, but he forgave. Let's not pay evil for evil. Let's be quick to forgive. Be fast to forgive. We know when, when we forgive, it might look as if we are weak. We're not weak. We are strong. Our strength is in Christ and in, is in, in forgiveness that we overcome. Just hold it. Yeah, it's good for us to forgive. I want to give you five points when we forgive. When you forgive, you live at peace with God. You live at peace with man. Yes. When you forgive, you have joy. Overflowing joy. <laughs> when we forgive, God will be proud of us. Yes. When we forgive, we're not being a trash can. Our car will be clean. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when we forgive, we will not open our body, soul, and spirit for all forms of sickness. Because it starts from unforgiveness, bitterness. It brings a lot of physical illness to the, bo the body of human. Those are the five points. I'm just giving you more than that. Let's forgive. That will make Jesus proud. Remember the two thieves. Jesus was at the middle. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> One of them was just like talking, just saying whatever he likes to say. <laughs> but the other one said, remember me. In your father's kingdom, this man is innocent. When he said that, <laughs> Jesus looked at him and said, Your sins are forgiven. I'll remember you in paradise. Jesus forgave the guy that was supposed to die and rot in hell. How much we not to forgive? Why are we not to forgive? Let's forgive in advance. Yes. <laughs> Even the, the offense that are going to will happen in the future, let's forgive because of Jesus. Because we belong to him. Stephen was stoned to death. When he was dying, what did he say? Please, Lord, forgive them. Forgive. Yes, that was the prayer of Stephen. While he was even big kiddo, he said, God, forgive. Yes. So, let's forgive. I'm going to sing my, my song I'll be singing on this song. It's a great reminder. I want to make Jesus proud. <laughs> Make him proud of me. Mm -hmm. Make him proud of me. Mm -hmm. I will stop at nothing. Mm -hmm. I will lay down everything. If it will make Jesus proud. Mm -hmm. I will stop at nothing. I will lay down everything. He'll feel the make Jesus proud. Mm -hmm. Make him proud of you. Mm -hmm. Oh, make him proud of me. Hallelujah. Let's make Jesus proud. Let's make him proud. Let's not nail him back to the cross. Yes. Let's not stop. 
Let's not stop at making Jesus proud of us. Let's not stop. Make him proud of me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Make him proud of you. I will stop at nothing. I will lay down everything. When you lay down everything, the pride of life. Mm -hmm. Anger. Bitterness. Superiority. You know, oh, this person is, is, is just to me. It's not up to my standard. You lay them down. The pride of life. Those boastfulness. Everything. You lay them down. You don't even need to like prove a point because of Jesus. Jesus never proved the point. He never looked at us and said, Father, this sin is too much. I'm not going to forgive that sin. I'll forgive that sin. No, he didn't. He says, even when we, we wo those woeful sin, we know it's a sin. We still go ahead and do it. So painful. Jesus' blood is there to forgive us from every unrighteousness. What is there we can't forgive? Let's forgive. Let's put on the breastplate of righteousness. Let's put on our shield of faith. Faith in trusting God. Faith in depending on God. Faith in leaning on God with a pure heart, without a heart of unforgiveness. Let's forgive. Let's live in forgiveness and in boldness unto God. God alone. So when he looks down from heaven, he's going to be proud. Proud of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to make Jesus proud. Are you making him proud? Make him proud. Make him proud of you. Make him proud of me. I will stop at nothing. I will lay out on everything. Doing something nobody tells you thank you. Nobody tells you well done. Even the people that spits on you and comes back to you and betrays you. That was Judah is carrying. You have a lot of Judah is carried around you. Forgive them. Not because they, they deserve it. But because of the love that Jesus has. And you want to make him proud of you. Yeah? Sure. Let's make Jesus proud in everything we say we do. Let's make him proud. Let's not stop. Let's have it at the back of our mind as goes on children. We want to make Jesus proud. When you have it as goes on child, at the back of your mind, you want to make Jesus proud. The grace to make him proud, God's going to give it to you. Ask him for the grace, he's going to give it to you. Every day of your life, say, God, I need the grace to make you proud. I just want to make you proud. You know how much I want to make you proud. I love you because you love me. Thank you for loving me. I want to make you proud. Temptation will come. The cares of life will compare. We compare rays will come. Oh. But the mindset to make him proud. The angels of God that will empower you to make Jesus proud. The grace to make him proud will just come on you. And when the grace of God come on you to make him proud, what is there that will stop you from making him proud? Nothing. Just as like it says, what is there that will separate you from the love of God? Is it the cares of life, the pains of life, the tribulations of life? Nothing, but the Paul said, we separate him from the love of God. May that be our prayer. May that be our desire, saying, nothing shall separate me from the love of God. Let's tell him every day that we love him. Somebody you love, you won't want to offend him. You won't want to treat him anyhow. Anything you do, you will put him forward. In your thought, in your desire, in your secret prayer, you always put Jesus forward because you want him proud. You see us say, Father God, are you proud of me? I want you to be proud of me. I love you. I don't want to dis I, I, I don't want to disappoint you. When you're going to say I don't want to disappoint you, help me. His grace will be there. He said his grace is sufficient for us. Mm-hmm. No, snap. Okay. So let's make Jesus proud in our life. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to this channel, I'd like you to do that. Share this video. God love you. He loves you more than what you think about because he formed you. He loves you so, so much. He loves you dearly. God loves you dearly. So, see you all in my next upload. Bye. God loves you.